Hello beautiful Scorpio, how are you today? My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and psychicslive.com.au Thank you so much for being here and let's go into your reading for the next 7 to 14 days. It's usually for the next 7 days but let's see what we've got. If it doesn't resonate, release and check your moon and your ascendant sign. Lots of love. Okay, first energy. Within the next few months. Within the next few months, something will change. Some, you'll see enlightenment. It's like your world, not your world will change, but something in your life is going to try, change dramatically. There's enlightenment around it. It's like it's a huge brand new day. It's a brand new thing. It's, it's bringing energy. It's bringing love. It's bringing a lot of new things. So within the next few months... What else? Are you expecting anything in the next few months, Scorpio? Listen to your intuition. Look at that. So there's something that you may be thinking about right now or there's something that you're working on and they're saying listen to your intuition because what you're feeling is right. What you're, pardon me, what you're doing is right. So it's like they're saying here, Keep doing what you're doing. See, that on the bottom of the deck, we've got not the right time. Some of you are starting to doubt that what you're doing is actually going to work because you're not seeing a return right now or that what you're investing in is not, is not giving you fruits. Anything that you're doing that you're not seeing a result from, they're saying within the next few months, it's going to turn. It's going to make sense. It's going to have an enlightenment to it. So sometimes things don't work out in our way, in our time, in our way or our time. So the universe is saying, don't give up. Don't give up hope. Don't give up anything. Listen to your intuition. Keep going. Keep going and doing what you're doing because you're on the right path. So I don't know what that is. It's going to be different for everybody. What have we got for Scorpio, please, with the tarot? Witch's tarot, please. What have we got with the witch's tarot? The death. The death card, beautiful. Transformation. It's something that you may have even been doubting. You may have even been looking at this and thinking, oh, it's not going to work out. I've been giving it my time. I've been giving it my energy. And the more I invest in it, the more I see less of it. And they say, no, no, no. There's going to be a transformation in this. Remember the light? You're, you're about to close a chapter and open a brand new one. The Three of Cups. You've got celebration, Scorpio, coming to you. I don't know what it is that you're doing or what's happening right now, but it's like you're getting rid of the old and you're starting something new. You're getting rid of something that may not have worked and you're investing into something that's going to be quite prosperous and you're going to celebrate that. It could be a, a, something super special that comes into your life. Oh, look at that. Two of Cups. For some of you, it could be a proposal. For some of you, it could be some news within the couple. It can also be a new romance. For those of you looking for love, this is within the next few months. So get ready, Scorpio. If you're alone now, you're not going to be. Your chapter of loneliness closes and the new begins. And you may have wanted that right now. But every, the other person may not be ready to come into your energy. Remember that. Both parties have to be energised to come together. And if you may be ready, but that person may have, but may be still um, be going through a, a process of getting over something or not looking right now. They may be involved in their work. Look at that. Seven of Swords. You've walked away from things before in your life that didn't make sense to you anymore. You've walked away from relationships that were not what you were looking for. You walked away from situations that it was like a battle. It was like chaos all the time. You don't want that anymore. You want someone that's going to complete you or a situation that's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. You don't want to deal with uh, promises or rubbish anymore. Here, Knight of Pentacles, a new beginning, a new offer, a new opportunity. What did I say? It's all coming together, Scorpio. So don't doubt. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt what you're doing and keep doing it. Keep doing it. Listen to your intuition. You can't go too far wrong. That inner voice is priceless. A lot of people 
um, have a feeling, but then they ignore it. And that's where they get themselves into trouble. When you're feeling something so strongly, go with it. Because that's your intuition telling you. The Hierophant. For some of you here, it may be a proposal. It may be a commitment. It may be the next step. So this could be you committing to somebody else, you committing to something or an opportunity that brings contracts, brings commitment, brings proposals, brings unity. The Queen of Swords, look at that. Ready to speak your truth, ready to do what you need to do. This is someone who has thought about things quite intensively. And now you're ready to put those ideas into practice. You're ready to put that wish and that goal into practice. It's like I'm ready. I'm ready. My sword's up. Look at that. The world. The completing of a cycle and the beginning of another. Look at that. It's like for someone here, you may want to travel the world with a loved one and that's a goal and a, a dream of yours and you'll be able to do that. But for others, it's like a commitment that you're making, a, a next step. Eight of Pentacles. You've worked hard, Scorpio. You've worked hard. I, I feel here someone has dedicated themselves to work for so long to achieve something amazing. And now you're going to see the fruits. In the next few months, you're going to see things come together. It's like you've been working for a purpose and a reason. It could be to save up for a home. So then you can propose to your, your fiancé or you can take this, this relationship to the next level. Um... It's something that you've been working towards, absolutely. And the Page of Wands, you're ready. You're ready to ignite the passion. You're ready for that adventure. You're ready to take the next step. You're ready to make something new here. You're ready to begin something new. That's what that is. So you're, you're on a path of not looking back. And although you've been, you may have been uh, doubting it because of fear, I don't know, it's, it's that little voice inside you just says, oh, it may, may not be the right time. It may not be the right person. It may not just be right. It may not be the right opportunity or situation. You need to let your intuition speak above those little voices that come into our heads. Okay, what else have we got? What's the animal spirit for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, I really think here you're about to take a new step. Do you feel that? Are you heading that way? Tell me in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love you to. But let me know if this is you, if you're putting things into place, if you want to take a different turn, if you want to create something new, if you want to bring two energies together. Time for beginner mind. Look at that. You're learning and that's okay. It's like everything's new to you here. Whatever it is that you're getting yourself into, it's all new. It's a new world. It's a new thing. It's a new phase. It's a new area of your life that you haven't had before. So, you know, you, go, go slowly if you're not comfortable. But go. Watch your words. Scorpio, watch your words. Something you, you may say in the next seven days, seven to 14 days, may be... Um, construed as something else so what you say you say with good intention but someone else may interpret that as something totally different so watch your words sometimes in what you say or how you say them because that can have an effect on somebody else that's very dear to you okay what else have we got one more place one more be generous of spirit Scorpio, it, this is the time to be generous of spirit, to share how you feel, to validate how somebody else is feeling, to validate people's feelings and wants and needs. This is you trying to be generous of spirit and really giving it, giving it your all. It's something that you're, you're allowing yourself to, to give. Now is a time to give, Scorpio, rather than receive. It's now time for you to tell somebody else how you feel. It's now time for you to follow that dream and follow that goal. I hope that makes sense to somebody here, Scorpio. So let me know in the comments if this resonates. Lots of love and light. Thank you. Bye-bye.